Oh, he's answering. Hey, mom. Mom. Oh my God, his mom. Yeah. How are you? Hi, mom. Oh, mom is Eddie. Hi. Eddie. We're recording here. No, no, no. He's on. He's uh, talking through, through, through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. She said, Eddie, what are you cooking tomorrow? Okay. I'm cooking a chicken, Miss Thomas. A chicken. A chicken? Yeah, in the microwave for 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, the Truth Radio here. Crazy Eddie, uh, joined with Mr. Lexima. Yes, sir. Uh, we got an interesting one. Uh, FBI investigates death of American woman in Mexico is how the the headline is written. However, we know it's Shanquilla Robinson. Okay, we'll, she'll be known as that. Right. Uh, this is coming out of um, Cabo St. Lucas, Mexico, after a video that circulated online appearing to show uh, one of her friends beating her down and uh, some other so-called friend recording the whole thing on his phone. Okay. Right, but, right. We knew about the story days ago, right? We wanted to wait, make sure that, you know, we had some more uh, facts come out, right? We're going to get into it. It seems like every day there's more and more things coming out. So we held back on uh, on doing the story. Yeah. So uh, Shanquilla Robinson, 25, north of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, traveled last month to Mexico with six friends, according to her father, Bernard Robinson. Okay. Some of those mm -hmm. friends initially told Miss Robinson's mother that Miss Robinson had died of alcohol poisoning, which was a bunch of bull crap. We all know that. That turned and out to be false. All right. Mr. Robinson said, uh, but a death certificate issued by Mexican officials and obtained by a Charlotte television station, WSOC TV, listed the cause of death on October 29th as severe spinal cord injury in Atlas luxation uh or the dislocation of a ring-shaped bone that supports the skull right so we both saw the video right we're not going to show the video basically that just means a, a that means a broken neck that's what that means right right pretty much but we're not going to show the video although everyone has seen the video already we don't believe we need to show the video Right. Uh, the certificate stated that Miss Robinson was found unconscious in the living room at an address in St. Jose del Cabo, Mexico, and died about 15 minutes after she was injured. It did not mention alcohol poisoning at all. Mr. Mm -hmm. Robinson said he was shocked that the Mexican authorities had allowed his daughter's friends to leave the country after her death. Okay, so these guys, they, they killed her. Then they got on the plane and came to the United States. Right, right. The family yeah, had to pay six thousand dollars. The family had to pay six thousand dollars to get the body over there. Uh, you know, weeks later, it took a couple weeks. I mean, you know, you got to watch out who your friends are. You know, this is this is what could happen. You know, you're going now. Now we 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 do have to preface this by saying that we don't know <laughs> the whole story, but we know what it looks like though no. <laughs> you know we do know what it looks like and it looks like uh again there was some there was an altercation in the in the room and it seems like it, was, it, it seemed like it was just between the two girls including um um miss robinson but uh we don't know what happened after the video stopped we don't know you know but we do know somebody was videotaping and it, it seemed like it was a guy who could have stopped everything that was going on she wasn't fighting back and she was naked you know, so was it? Did she just come out of the bathroom and then they, they started all that? Like, what what happened before this? We'll probably never know. And then they leave her there. You know, and every day it seems like things were coming out about this story. We finding out that the uh, the EMTs got there. They they were told that she was drunk. Um, I believe she may have still been alive at that time. I'm not sure. But it wasn't until three hours after that that the police got there. Right. So I don't know what's going on in Mexico. <laughs> right. You know, I don't know what's going on in Mexico. But uh, yeah, anybody that got travel plans, you. calm down, calm down. Right, right. Be careful. Who calm you down on the travel plans to Mexico, yeah. <laughs> so Mr. Robinson, uh, you know, he was 
reported saying, I can't talk for her, but I'm going to be her voice. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be her voice to the end because I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The FBI field office in Charlotte confirmed that it had opened an investigation into Miss Robinson's death, but said it would have no further comment. The State Department referred questions about the investigation to the FBI, but said that it provides consular assistance to family members when an American citizen dies abroad. Uh, we offer our sincerest condolences to the family on their loss, the State Department said in a statement, out of respect for their privacy. We have no further comment this time. Of course, um, you know, more, more facts are coming out, of course. Ms. Robinson graduated from West Charlotte High School and had attended... Mm -hmm. Winston-Salem State University, where she met some of the others, four women and two men who traveled to Mexico with her, according to her father. Mr. Robinson said his daughter grew up loving gymnastics and ran her business uh, braiding children's hair. She was a growing sweethearted person, loved people, loved her friends, loved to have fun, uh, Mr. Robinson said, just a smart, intelligent person. He also goes on to say she's not a fighter, she doesn't believe in drama. She wasn't raised like that. So, you know, Shanquella was not one to get into drama. As you see in that video, she she didn't really fight back. Really, it's just probably just defending herself. But I'm not going to get into it. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is what it is. Uh, the fallout is now that, you know, the FBI has joined the, the case now. Right. So... Uh, so since they're so since they're involved now, hopefully maybe we'll get some answers and some justice uh, as well. I don't know if, if, if it's me and a friend of mine. Let's say let's say something happened and friend passed away and this and that. I don't know if I'm leaving my friend there. You know, they left her body in the hotel. They left her there. They flew back. I've heard reports of uh, them paying off uh, officials in Mexico uh, at the hotel to not report the incident. Flew back here. Oh, she died of alcohol poisoning, you know, and uh, left her there. What kind of friends does such a thing? They were probably able to leave because, again, they, the autopsy would not have been done before they left. You know, this is like after they left, I, I believe is when we find out. So I don't know. I don't know what can be done. Um, but now that the FBI is involved, listen, yeah, the listen, they'll, they'll, they'll get to the bottom line. They'll get to the bottom line of what's going on. So. Uh, well, we can only hope so. But uh, the Charlotte Observer reported that it had obtained a police report showing uh, that a doctor had attended to Miss Robinson after someone called for medical help at a vacation home at 2.13 p.m. on October 29th. The doctor was told that Miss Robinson had uh, drunk a lot of alcohol and um, found her with stable vital signs, but dehydrated, unable to communicate, and appeared to be inebriated, the police report said, according to the observer. The report stated that the doctor wanted Miss Robinson to be taken to the hospital, but that her friends insisted she be treated at home, according to the observer. The doctor tried unsuccessfully to give Miss Robinson an intravenous line and was there for nearly an hour when Miss Robinson began to have a seizure, prompting a friend to call for an ambulance, the uh, police report said, according to the observer. The uh, doctor and one of the woman's friends uh, began CPR at 4.49 p.m. when the doctor detected no pulse. Paramedics administered a, a additional rounds of CPR and uh, as well as adrenaline and discharges from the automated external defibrillator the report said Miss Robinson was declared dead at 5.57 p.m., as stated. Uh, as you know, the funeral has been going on. Uh, Miss Robinson's funeral drew hundreds of mourners on Saturday to a church in Charlotte. Miss Robinson said, Mr. Robinson said he was uh, hurting to the core after losing his daughter. So, yeah, the uh, funeral possessions uh, just took place not too long ago. And, uh, you know, the, this word of Shanquilla is getting out more and more since we first learned about it about a week ago. Right. So I'm glad right. that it's picking up traction. I'm glad that people are on it now, finally. Uh, and hopefully she'll get some justice. Uh, what that justice will look like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, do you I don't know what, what do that justice will look like. Well, the, the, the part that disturbs me is also is, you know, 
the doctor is there, but they don't want to move her. The friends won't even allow that because we all know now the reason they didn't want because then it'd be found out exactly what is wrong with her and what happened to her, you know, right. like the autopsy showed. So they were, I mean, if that's supposed to be your friend, but you're, you're trying to hide her injuries. Um, Throw the book at it, him. It, yeah. And, and, oh, it, and it seemed like they were all in, I mean, now, were they all in agreement with this, with this, with this hiding the fact of what exactly happened to her? And if they are, I mean, that's some, that's some devilish stuff there, you know? So, yeah, yeah I don't have, I don't have um, any sympathy for any of them, especially the girl. Now, the girl that was fighting her, um, I think that she, there's a part of the video where she kind of throws uh, Miss Robinson down to the ground. It looks like she hit herself on the the bed post, like the side of the bed. And I'm like, wow, I wonder if she was injured right there. That, that's that, that's the first injury right there. It could have been there, the way she know? hit the ground. It could have been the way she, you know, she hit the yeah. ground. Yeah, so. but to say that, that that it's alcohol poisoning, that just that that's devilish right there. All of them, all of them devilish. should be a, 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 a accused of murder. Now, how that works in Mexico, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work with the FBI and Mexican authorities, but uh, we'll hopefully, like you said, justice. Yeah. Yes, justice for. Uh, uh, Shanquilla, and uh, hopefully she gets it. Um, we will be following this story as usual, and uh, any other updates, we, of course, we'll let you guys know. Um, like and subscribe to the channel. Please stay tuned to any uh, updates we have. Uh, check out truthradio.com. Uh, but yeah, Mr. Lexma, uh, we beat this one with bat. You got anything else to add to this? Definitely, definitely. Um, if there are any more updates, we will update you. So like Mr. Uh, like Crazy Eddie said, like and subscribe and uh, you'll find out. Also hit that notification bell also. Um, find out when we do post again. So, but uh, yeah, definitely. We'll keep on top of this. Crazy Eddie for Mr. Lexima. Uh, you've listened to the Truth Radio. The truth will set you free and we are